Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew from ProducerSociety.com. Today I'm going to show you how to add a silent space at the beginning of your GarageBand tracks. So if you're anything like me, you've tried to add a silent portion of the song, you've tried to add uh, a slight, you know, maybe one or two bars of silence before the music starts playing, and the intuitive way that you think would work would be just to simply move all the track regions over a little bit. So for example, I'll show you what I mean. So you would think that you would just select it all like this, right? You select all of it, and then you go, oh, I'm going to drop it one bar ahead. And then you export it, and then it's all good. But that's not the way it works. Um, that's not the way it works. GarageBand is going gonna, is gonna to start rendering the file the moment where the MIDI, MIDI audio and drummer track regions begin. So that doesn't work. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple. In my article at ProducerSociety.com, I have the step-by-step -step process laid out. So make sure you check that out if this video doesn't clarify uh, whatever you want to be clarified for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what to do right now. What you do is this. You, essentially, you use the cycling option. So you grab all of your, your track regions like this. Make sure you have everything. Everything's set up. You're good to go. You have everything, every single track region set up. And then so you just drag and drop it like you would think that you would do, right? Drag, let's say, one bar. And then when you, what you want to do is you want to hit the cycle button, or you can also just hit it by selecting the ruler. This is the ruler up here, by the way. So you can do that, and then you just drag it, and then extend it to the point where your music ends. So as you can see, it's from right from the beginning, right from all the way to the end. So now it's good to go. Now what you want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is you want to go export share, hit share, export song to disk. And then you want to make sure that you've selected this option, the export cycle area or length of selected regions if cycle is turned off. So you hit that bad boy. Make sure you got desktop set up. That way you know where the file is. And then you hit export. Now we're going to wait. By the way, I got a present for you. Go to producersociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. So we're now we're out of it, right? We're, we've got it done, it's, it's in my desktop right here. So let's hit play. So as you can see there, there was a moment of silence, right? Like the moment you hit play, it normally would start playing the music, but instead I have silence set up right now. So now it's, there's the silence. So let's actually, I'm gonna bring it up in iTunes just so you can, so it illustrates what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Come on now. Oh yeah, here we go. So here, we got it turned up. Let's hit play on it. So as you can see, there's about maybe five seconds of silence. There. And it, it's really as simple as that. That's, uh, that's how you do it, man. That's, uh, that's how it's done. Now, there's alternative ways of going about this. And I also think it's worth mentioning that it, it applies for the same thing at the end, too. Like if you wanted a silent space at the end, um, you would just do the same process at the beginning as you would at the end. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, so another thing that you can do is you could also, you could also like go to Upright Studio Base, create an empty region, and you could just go like that. And then rather than doing the cycle option, you could just use a, this, this is like a placeholder of silence essentially. So if you exported everything like this without the cycling option on, it would actually be silent as well. So th that's two ways of going about it. Um, if for whatever reason your cycling option doesn't work, then uh, you can do it this way. Um, ultimately, I think, you know, th there's going to be alternative ways of going about these same things, but this is what I find works. The cycling option is, is where it's at. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. You know, the process isn't overly complicated. So I think I'm going to sign out for today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right? Peace.